This is the challenge. Battle for a new champion. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the final episode of the season on the Right Reality Podcast. Episode now 301. Hello, my name is Steven. And my name is Mixie. As Steven said, we are here to recap season 39, Battle for a New Champion, episode 18, the beginning of the end, and episode 19, only one gets the crown. Oh, man, we made it to the end, Mixie. It was not 27 episodes. It was only 19. And you know what? Honestly, most surprising part was it was only 19 episodes with that many goddamn people. Really surprising, honestly. I think what's surprising is that you're saying only before that. I'm not quite sure I understand. (laughs) That it was only 19 episodes? You're saying, oh, that's actually a lot? Is that what you're trying to say? Yes. Yeah. I feel like. Yeah, but it's a regular season. It's a flagship season. And I always feel like we're sitting here on week 19 and it's like, oh, they got 20 more weeks still to go, you know? Well, I'm I'm surprised that they are taking two weeks for the final and then another two weeks for the reunion after this. Like, mm. when is this ending? Oh, it never ends. It, it, it's <laughs> just like, um, you know, 90 Day Fiance. It's just another version of 90 Day Fiance. It's like, oh, uh, the, the other way or um, <laughs> before the 90 days or... Before, before the 90 days or after, after, after the 90 days, you know? The single life. Is that really one of them? Oh, yeah. It's all the people that got divorced or didn't work out on 90 days are now single and have their own show. Anyways. It seems like it's its own (laughs) Pluto channel, honestly, at this point. It should be. You know what I mean? But it's. It it, it needs its own Pluto channel. At this point, I think it it, could very easily carry it. It is its own Pluto channel. That's what I'm trying to say here. It's just. No, but it it is. Oh. It's like it's like just constantly you turn on that channel and yeah. I guarantee you it's 90 day something or other. Yeah, I mean, Ooh. I I do feel like as we've stated in the past that we are constantly in a a cycle of the challenge in one yeah. way or the other. We get diet challenge, we get adult challenge, and we get the actual show. Um adult. I'm curious if we'll get a trailer for adult challenge. In this universe, we are recording before oh. the uh final goes live so interested to see or maybe they'll wait until after the reunion i feel i feel like oh it could do that i they might they might post it wednesday during during the day before it goes on so as you're hearing this it might have it probably it could have already happened let's just say it that way let's just say it that way okay okay i mean i feel like people are gonna storm mtv's front lawn if that stuff doesn't come out soon with pitchforks and everything. I'm indifferent. I'm indifferent too. It's, <laughs> it's it's whatever. Yeah. I I'm, the people who are yelling probably already know who wins. So it's it's whatever at this point. So well, I don't. uh congratulations. That's that's, <laughs> that's good for you. I don't either. And I we'll see. Never mind. We're not going to talk about that right. Anyways, now. we are going to talk about the final here. Uh, I want to thank everybody for watching uh episode 300 our interview with Michelle. Thank you very much for that. Uh, A lot of good feedback to that. Thank you so much for that. Uh, Had a lot of fun. And now let's get in the final coming up this week, Mixie. Uh, We rank the funniest things from part one of the final. We will have potentially moment of the season that happened in part two of the final. Oh. uh... Yeah. Yeah. I think for me potential strong candidate for moment of the season and we have a breakdown of jay's exit and jay's season like we've never done before here on the number one. Oh boy but let's start off with tj coming back through our favorite thing in the world mixie what did he walk back into the club they loved it so much they're like we got to show the number one what he's walking through again mr tj is taking a little walk through the glory hall hallway, man. We got it again oh, in the final. It was amazing. I was hoping it might somehow peek its way through in the very last episode, but I can only hope that the reunion stage is just glory hall hallways. It's glory hall hallway stage. Yeah. Uh, yeah. They did it for us because it's been done and they did it for us You're right. to get us You're to right. watch the reunion uh-huh. and talk about it, which. 
we don't think it's going to happen. But you know, there you there you go, there you go. We'll watch it and maybe we'll we'll recap it and maybe we won't. Sure. I feel like it's just going to be a lot of screaming and we're both going to be sitting here like and then so and so screamed at so and so the other person screamed back and then somebody else that yeah. wasn't involved also screamed right and yeah. then there was screaming and then somehow An- Anissa was involved and she was there because of course was she there. was vomit just, leave it alone keep doing your workouts don't care <laughs> Berna Bertha was definitely listening to our last pod um, mm-hmm. because I talked about how much I liked Michelle's corset top. And she said, uh, Michelle, I know you're leaving, but I want that top. And she wore it to the final dinner. I think as an homage to Michelle, I would like to yes. I would like to think that's the case, even though we now know when she got back, she blocked Michelle. But in the time, I'm going to say that it was an homage to Michelle. You know what? I feel like after that interview with Michelle... Um, Michelle is the everyday person that happens to be on the challenge. She is mm. surrounded by a whole bunch of wackadoos. And if you were to tell me Berna Bertha would leave the final, go home, block Michelle, I would have told you, what are you talking about? But it just seems like she's the regular person who's like looking around going, what is happening around me? Who are these people? Like, yeah. what Delulu world have I <laughs> infiltrated at this point? You know what I mean? Yeah, I um, I really, I think that Michelle's um ability to be friends with any kind of person should be there studied. It really should. A lot of people dislike Berna Bertha. Uh, I think we find her wildly amusing. I will say, by the end of this final, don't like her as much. Um, she really is, is causing internal problems with me and we'll touch on that as we go through. Okay. Um, but I was just happy to see Michelle's shirt. Uh, Michelle might not have made it to the final, but her shirt did. And we appreciate that. It was there in, um, in support and memory, if you will, because remember everybody thought that she died. Yes. Um, Uh and that's where we go. So TJ walks through the glory hall hallway and, and again, tells people hey remember i told you that the final is danger close not dangerously close that's different you uneducated swine yes jesus how many times we do we need to say that it's not the same danger close and dangerously close if you think he messed that up incorrect because mr tj never gets anything wrong he doesn't he doesn't. I mean, he walked through huh. that glory hole hallway knowing he was going to say that the final was coming. And he knew that he was going to go down that glory hole hallway. That's why he called it danger close. Yeah. That makes logical sense to me. It does to me, too. So if you're <laughs> sitting there smirking at Mr. TJ for saying that. Uh-huh. You know what? You need to take a step back. You should take a step back. You should learn and grow. And you know Check what? Out Honestly, the supply you- chain issues. Yeah, and I think you need to text us or email us or DM <laughs> us what type of seminars you're going to go to to mm. make up for your just embarrassment of what you're thinking right now, honestly. I think that's the best. I, it makes sense to me. Let's move forward ourselves as we like to do and press things along. So the celebrating begins because he says you're at the final. This is it. And I'm like, yay, everybody's there. And they keep drinking. And we've talked about this before. Stop drinking when he says that. Just cut off the alcohol. Start chugging the water. Do whatever you can because it's going to suck for a little bit here. Yeah. Well, I was curious about the timeline yet again. Love a timeline. Mm. So it seems as though he came in and told them that it was the final. And then they partied the night away, and then they woke up in the morning, and they got ready, and they went to whatever the fuck this dinner was that I must get into here in a moment. Um, And then they slept again, and then they started the final. I would assume that it was two days after he mentioned it, that that they were in the final. I'm going to choose to believe you there. I feel like that's a good timeline, a timeline expert we have here on our hands with our- I don't know if I want that title. I don't know about that. (laughs) It's been given. Deal with it. Fuck. And so, yes, 
Uh, but they did stop drinking there, and then they they were clearly drinking at the dinner, which again mm-hmm. makes me very confused by these people. Let's talk about the dinner and the dinner table. Do you know what I saw on the dinner table, Mixie? Do you know the first thing that jumped out to me? Well, you know what, Stephen? I do, because we watched it together, and you made a comment, oh, right, and I did. was like, oh, yeah, I, they're everywhere. <laughs> forgot. I forgot that we watched it together. <laughs> yeah, we did. <laughs> uh, the labels. The labels were everywhere. The labels mm. were on a lot of things, but you know, I watched it again today as a good, good journalist does. And besides the labels over all the bottles of wine and all the all the things that could not be removed, I sat there and I went, God, there's a lot of good macros on that table right now. Were there good macros? Great macros. Well, they need those good they they gotta get those good macros before the final. It's important. We had some salad. We had some pork chops. We had some steak skewers. What do you think macros are? I think it's protein. (laughs) So is it not? We might need to cut this because I'm not a hundred percent sure, but I'm ninety eight percent sure. Oh, so you're calling me out for not knowing what good macros are? But you're not not sure what macros are. It's uh, whoa, 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 whoa. Now, if you had had some good macros today, I don't think you'd be so jumpy at me. But we'll get. Well, I'll get into it. It is related to protein, but it's not protein right. itself. Good macros. Yeah. Macros are protein to calorie like ratio. Good macros yeah. means high protein, low calorie. Uh, I feel like steak's got to be great macros. Steak then, right? does, but you started yeah. the conversation with salad, and I actually think that you can make a salad with zero macros in it. Oh, okay. Well, it, it was a nice accoutrement to the macros. Yes. I mean, it, I, I, I would assume. I retract my, my good macros with a salad, <laughs> but there was pork chops and, and steak skewers. So And a little, a little hint to all the hotties. I love to say this, and you know what I'm going to say. Parmesan cheese is fantastic macros, guys. Just put Parmesan cheese on whatever. You'd be like, no, it's cheese. That's got to be bad for you. It's not. Great macros. Chug Great it. Great macros. Put a fucking straw in it and sip on it. Those little like shaker cans, just put a straw in it. <laughs> Go crazy. Drink your Parmesan cheese. <laughs> have, a, have yourself a night. Have yourself a night. And when your significant other looks at you like a crazy person, you just go, hey, hey, the number one told me it was great macros. So lie. fuck off, significant other. Enough about the macros. I want to talk about something that happened. And and I will preface by saying we all forget what words are sometimes. You know, we all have those brain farts. I we probably both had them on recording during podcasting at certain points in time. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, well, maybe you cut yours out, but I know I. <laughs> <laughs> How dare you? I know I have, and um, there's this like theme that's being spread right now that Mariah's smart. And I just want to, I'm not saying she's not, because that would be not good girl code. I'm trying to be a better person. Um, Things aren't going well, but I'm I'm adjusting and I'm going to try. So I'm going to comment on this without being a bitch. Okay. Now, after she comments, I want everybody to think, (laughs) was she being a bitch? Just play at home. There's not going to be a poll. Just you can play it at home for fun, you know? And if there's multiple people listening, you driving with your significant other, how about you both vote and, and let us know? You can message us and let us know. Okay, go ahead. Go, you, you, the floor is yours. Okay. I'm going to assume that she was joking, but everybody's sitting around the table. We're all chatting. We're all talking. She shifts the said thing that she forgets what it's called, and she says... Hey, I have something under my thingy. I have something under my my oh, thingy. Oh god. Placemat. Placemat. Or plate. Or napkin. All three of those things were there. She had three options. She went with thingy. Thingy. So yeah. I will continue to believe that Mariah is in car- kindergarten and will continue mm. to always be Mawaya. Mawaya. Mawaya didn't know the word placemat. But don't worry, guys. Mawaya deserves to be in the final, okay? She yeah, worked really yeah, hard yeah, yeah. protecting her massive boyfriend that is not her boyfriend and isn't Johnny Bananas. She worked hard. Go figure. 
go. If you would have told me this was her, uh, her like story arc this season, yeah, I'd have been like, are "We talking about the same Mariah? Or wh- Mariah. Who we, is there? Is there two of them? Is it like Bachelor where there's like a Mariah A and a Mariah B? Is it that situation? Her ass is so big, it probably could be two Mariahs. I mean, it is lovely. Let's it's let's insane. not pretend like it's like just, you know, large in a not nice way. I'm pumping up women. Her ass is you fantastic. Are. Her brain doesn't yeah. exist. That's fine. Sometimes you don't need all of it. <laughs> no, you know, and, and it is what it is, you know? It's just like, <laughs> I mean, yeah. you can have the other two things that she's got. I mean, do you need the other one? <laughs> Who cares? I don't think you really need anything else. Yeah, I, You definitely don't need a full shirt. N- not even during the final. <laughs> nah. so it, you know what it is? It's like a cartoon character that they're always wearing the same thing. And you're like, oh, that cartoon character is wearing the same tiny clothing, but they're out in a rainstorm or a snowstorm. Uh-huh. <laughs> Why would they wear that? They wouldn't. But it's a cartoon character. And they only, you know, it's like it's a South Park. They're, they're always wearing the same thing, no matter the situation. Yes. And and Mariah's part of South Park now. <laughs> Mariah. Mariah's part of South Park. Sorry about that. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> so under the placemat was notes um, from home. Uh, my favorite part is they couldn't even give him the real notes. They photocopied the notes and then gave him the photocopies for whatever reason. Like maybe Whoa. they laced the paper. It was like they were in jail or something like that. Like, yeah, what are we doing? God forbid they get the handwritten note from their family. <laughs> I, I don't. I don't. It doesn't really make much sense to me. Give them the handwritten note. Like, can you imagine if Corey was here and Corey's kids wrote a note? Oh my god! <laughs> ah! <laughs> We'd be there for an hour. He'd be reading every line of it. Oh He'd my god! He'd be telling be everybody so about his kids. So other than just breaking down, which is what every other podcast would do, pause it and be like, can you believe this said this? We're going to play a game, Mix. Uh, I'm going to give you quotes from the notes. Mm-hmm. And you tell me whose note it is. Okay? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. The first one says, and when you're not sure, what's the right answer? Know that Ablu Ablulita, I definitely said that wrong, is there guiding you? Um, okay. Anissa. Incorrect. Darn Anissa's it. not on this show. No, the Anissa wrote it. Oh, that would have been a really good guess, but no. No, <laughs> no, no. I'm sorry, that note uh is Jay's note. That note is Jay's note. Cool. Um I don't care. Let's keep playing. Okay. All right. The next one. Logie barely fits through the doggy door anymore. Anissa. Oh, I'm sorry. Again, Anissa's not on this season. Yeah, but she wrote it because she has to be involved somehow. That's I see where you're going with this. And I like it. I like it a lot, honestly. Uh, No, incorrect. (laughs) That came from a family member of Moaya. Okay. Yeah. Uh, well, a classic. They can only tell them why on things that are like <laughs> third grade book level, and you're like, the dog can't fit through the dog door. <laughs> Your dog's a little fucking porker. Yeah. Moaya. And finally, while while this was not specifically in the note, um, this person was told from their family member not to dream too big, which actually. Pretty good advice. I'm going to be honest. You Don't said that. too I, big. I do know who this was sent to, but I'm going to say Anissa again because it should be sent to Anissa. <sighs> Anissa should read a letter that says that to her. <laughs> don't dream too big. Don't don't dream of winning the challenge because it's just. Don't really get not involved be. when you're not just, there. Don't make yeah. shit up. Don't yeah. like do things. Things that you shouldn't be doing. I don't know if information's out, so I'm not gonna say anything. But stop. <laughs> yeah, you know, just, just, just let it go. Just have a normal adult life. Just try. I, just try. Just try. Just I give it a whirl. This, though, 
Because you said. Uh, by the way, the was... answer was Colleen. The answer was I, Colleen. I do, I do know that. Colleen's family said, don't dream too big, which is fucking hilarious to me. That's, you know what? Good, good German DNA in there. Do not dream too big. Oh, that was Russian. Sorry about it. Keep moving on. <laughs> You said that when we watched it. You were like, that's some solid advice. Did you mean just to Colleen or did you mean generally speaking? Generally speaking. Generally speaking. Yeah. Yeah. Do you feel like that's maybe like a cynical take? Yes, but I also think it's a realistic (laughs) take. You know, it's a realistic take. But like if you're talking to a six-year-old and you tell a six-year-old that you're saying like that's good advice. I would not tell the six-year-old, hey, don't dream too big. But if the six-year-old goes, hey, I want to be like the first person on Mars, I'd be like, "Ah, how about we just get through school first, brother? Like, (laughs) let's just graduate and do your math homework before we start thinking you're going to be. No, no, I don't have to be. I should also be realistic to my kid sometimes, you know? Okay. Uh, Listen, I learn new things about you every day. Just a little I, I get bit, it, you know? I get it for like a 35-year-old if you're like, hey, nah. But yeah. like a child, because it kind of, it came across ha- like it was like, he's been saying this since I was in diapers, kind of a comment. I think I think it was. Um, <laughs> I think I also thought that way. I'm not going to tell the kid, n- no, hey, you, you're not going to be that. But as they get older, they'll be like, hey, I'm going to you be we need okay. you to be some realistic type of stuff here. You know, just that I, I'm thing. all for it. I love the support. I love the support from the family. And I would probably feel very differently when I have a child of my own as all the people will be like, oh, good, oh. I have no children. I do. I tell Walter that he can be a, a human if, if he really dreams that he could do it. He's just got to get some thumbs that move, you know? Mm, yeah. To me, ears. My favorite part of this whole thing was Emmanuel saying, I got a letter from my girlfriend. And both you and oh. I at the same time go, oh. <laughs> I think the he whole war collectively just went, oh, oh. boy. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> I want to state officially for the record, I think other family members did send letters if i was production i'd be like ah they didn't send anything uh we only got one from your girlfriend sorry about it interesting but not burn a birth as mom no no here's eight (laughs) pages from the girlfriend that you didn't just cheat on one time you two two three 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 maybe more i don't know three three that we're aware of right so Mm -hmm. oh well there's there's got to be more than that um yikes (laughs) yikes <laughs> just yikes in general personally for me on this entire situation <laughs> i think because really no one likes each other at this table they all pretend that they're in alliance together outside of norris but they do yeah. like nobody cares about each other nobody likes each other i think the funniest thing to me about all of this was berna bertha got up and sat on the stairs and Mawaya yeah. and Corey go over pretending to give a shit. And Mawaya yeah. doesn't even fully sit down. No. She goes, Oh no, we're here for you. And then immediately gets up and walks away and goes, Corey, you got this. I don't I don't want to deal with that. Yeah. Corey, and Corey is also like, yeah, it's fine. Did you did you know my dad didn't like me growing up? That, uh-huh. I, was, I feel like that's what I heard. I was like, All right, we got it, guys. We we got it. All right. Can we get back to Emmanuel? And his girlfriend writing him an eight-page letter, and then he was just cheating on her or whatever. He said, I guess she doesn't know anything that happened here. No. How would she, sir? How would she? How how would she? Do you want her to know what's going on without you? Like, how? What? <laughs> Can, hold on. I, I just want to play this forward. Fast forward. Spoiler alert. 18 minutes into this podcast. Manuel wins. I know. Can you imagine him having to go home? Hey, babe, great to see you. Guess what? Do you want the good news or the bad news? <laughs> Sorry, let me restate that. Do you want the great news or the awful news? You're so right. That's so funny. <laughs> Just he comes in and he's like, hey, babe, it's so good to see you. I cheated on you a bunch, but I have so much money now. <laughs> 
<laughs> so, like, don't worry about the first part. We good? <laughs> we Like, we good? You know? So, yeah, I definitely slept with multiple women sometimes within the same yeah. day. But don't worry about it because I won. So it's I fine. I got this bag. It's fine. I bet he plays it off like if I hadn't slept with these girls, I wouldn't have made it oh. to that final. What a what a big brain type of guy by doing that. I, he had to have. Oh. Had to have. They were going to vote me out unless I just banged them in the bathroom i yeah, didn't want to they had they had to suck my uh, dick otherwise i was gonna go into elimination you don't yeah, understand don't, the game you don't get uh, it you're playing a scared game honestly yeah i wasn't okay i wasn't afraid to get my dick wet how dare you gaslight me <laughs> yeah trying to gaslight me i'm standing there with an erect penis being like no don't do that <laughs> but i do want to stay in the game so Go to town, ladies. I have to win somehow. Yeah. And then she's going to be like, I saw you cuddling them. It's like, well, I had to sell it. I had to sell it. You know what I mean? They were saying that they were going to put my name on all three of the draws if I didn't cuddle after. So you just don't, you don't understand. (laughs) Yeah. Just how dare you not understand me? You know, I've been nothing, nothing but considerate. To our relationship from day one. You know, now that you bring this up, don't they normally show the winner like calling their family and telling them that they've won? Uh, Sometimes they have. I don't think they've done that. Because they should have forced Emmanuel to call his girlfriend. Now, now, all I hear in my head is Robin's, call your girlfriend. Time to have that time. Say your reasons. Oh, God. What a banger that song is. Oh, my God. Good one. All right. Let's move on. We, uh, we, Mm -hmm. we, the clock is counting down back at the house. Um, nobody, nobody has sung the final countdown. Whatever. Nobody sings it. Unexcusable miss. Unexcusable miss. I guess they also couldn't get the music cleared. Um, and now people are putting on clothing. We're getting our final put on clothing. We're leaving the house. And Corey, for whatever reason, determines, hey, I'm going to kiss a rose and then wink at the camera. Kiss by a rose. (laughs) That that song was not Robin that she just did, but yes. (laughs) He was like, I made it this far. I might as well get a video intro for my Tinder oh, yeah. profile. Oh, what a, gr- what a great little snap right there. Yeah. Yeah. Um, unbelievable. Mm-hmm. Great move. Great move. Um, we head out. We meet Mr. TJ. And what is Mr. TJ rocking? What type of fit is Mr. TJ rocking, Mix? He put my favorite shirt back on. Put the B- he put the B-movie shirt back on. He put my B-movie Gucci Gucci B buzz buzz shirt on and he looked fly as fuck has of he course ever he did. to my no. knowledge no i already know what you're gonna say and the answer is no Be- but he did because it was so fucking fly yep and what what she was gonna say there <laughs> has he ever repeated a fit no i don't think he ever has i don't think he ever has now maybe he's been in croatia for three years at this point, and they ran out of <laughs> options. But I choose to ignore common sense where common sense should be ignored, okay? But but even if that's the case, even if that's the case, Stephen, he could have put on any other outfit again. That's true. That's See, this it. is why we're so good at this. He B-movie rocked shirt. the B-movie shirt. Of course he did. He, of course B-movie he did. B-movie shirt. Again, if you're just coming to us and you'd be like, God, these guys are so smart. I mean, how are they infiltrating? Uh, we're just so damn good that Mr. TJ is like, I got to put that beam movie shirt back on because why would I not? Absolutely amazing. I, I think he put it on because he knew I fucking hate when they do the thing that he did after this, which are these stupid fucking pointless recaps of everybody's (laughs) fucking season. And I think that nothing has been more pointless of a recap than this one, because all of these people did diddly shit the entire season. (laughs) I mean, other than Nerese doing yeah. the two eliminations, which yeah, is Nerese something is the only to write one home about. One. 
Yep. Um, I like how they were like, you struggled through adversities. And I'm like, did they? The Colleen one was like, you you played a fantastic game of strategy. Yeah. And then they show a clip of her talking about doing something, uh, like doing, changing that up a vote do. that she never did. She continued to stay with the crowd. Yeah. Yeah. They, th- this whole thing was 80 yard. So they called Mr. TJ oh, yeah. when he was back in Vegas and was like, here's the script. Cause when they're out there, they're like, listen, we ain't got time to make this shit up and have you read mm-hmm. it. We'll just have you do it later. He redid all that audio and they were just like, um, what can we, what can we say about the Mariah Corey? one was my favorite. Mariah one was great, but obviously that was going to be great. Corey's was my favorite because they were like, oh, interesting. You overcame a lot of obstacles. And then they cut to him being like, yeah, fuck you, Big T. Fuck you, Melissa. I'm a lion ass <laughs> snake. Deal with it. And then they were like, but you persevered. I'm like, huh? Barely. What? Uh, yeah. I What's mean, going on? The Mariah one was Mariah. You navigated an unexpected bond. Outside yes. of your alliance. <laughs> yes. And I'm like, no, she used her friends so that she could keep banging James and the Giant yes. Peach without bananas being there. But sure. Yeah, sure. That's what it is. I, I would have just, I would have appreciated Mr. TJ just being honest with us. Yeah. Hey, I don't know how any of you motherfuckers got here, but you know what? <laughs> Let's go. Like, that's what, if you just gave Mr. TJ the runway, be like, hey, just ad lib it. That's what he would have given us, you know? Just like, hey, I'm just as confused as you guys at home. I don't know, but let's do this. Let's get to the money breakdown. And we do have a placement of each. So there's a payout for each. It eventually ends up being 30, 60, and 250, which I think are fair amounts. Thoughts on the amounts mix? Pathetic. All right. Thank you but- so much for that. Yeah, that's all right. We'll just get right into the cut control, which I think was uh, big. I think Mixie was being cucked right there. I, I, well, everybody was getting their, their ropes ready so that they could be tied to the chair to be cucked. Um, but Corey couldn't figure out how to carry him. Listen, it's a real sneaky move from the powers that be <laughs> to know that we called this cut control the entire time. And they're like, let's just tie him up. As a little wink, wink to the number one. I mean, how do else do you explain it? How else do you explain it? What What's your other thesis? Boys there and girls? is it. There one. is none. Because quite frankly, exactly. this one didn't make sense to me. It didn't make sense while it was happening. It didn't make sense. There was no. There was. By the way, no way they could have done this. I don't think this was just like the first cut controls. We were like, I don't think that's actually possible in that time frame. No. I honestly think that they made too much money and they were like, fuck. (laughs) (laughs) They're like, okay, we need to stay under $440,000. The amount of drone shots they had did not have the budget to give them the amount of money that they had allotted. I mean, was it interesting? I guess. It seemed difficult. I will state just generally speaking this entire final, I think we finally got a hard final and I haven't seen from the challenge in a while. Um, it wasn't a diet challenge. It wasn't anything like that. It was an actual full blown when they had to stay awake or it was 24 hours or whatever the hell it actually was. Um, yeah, I was happy to see that. So I was happy. This seemed difficult, but I didn't follow it. We were talking as it was playing and I was like, what is this gold chest? Like, what does this mean? Are they all splitting the gold chest? It just was not explained well at all. Now, here's where I will um, try to cut them a break. Because as I watched this the first time, I was saying out loud to you, this is just dumb. This is dumb. I don't like this. This doesn't make any sense. What are we doing? Looking back at it now, seeing like all of it play out, because I watched the first one and the second one again in Mm -hmm. like back to back streams. Yeah. It makes sense as a whole piece of television. Which, again, you're on MTV. I don't know why you can't do that. Yeah, make it a whole-ass fucking event. Yeah, make it like a a two-and-a-half-hour, three-hour thing. Put a whole lot of commercials in there. Make it be a big thing. Like, 
it wasn't a big enough cliffhanger, you know, that Oh, the cliffhanger if they was said horrible. you're about to do a purge and then they just stopped it, I'd be like, Oh shit. But anywho, looking back at the whole thing, I think it makes sense. This particular thing I think was made to just wear them out and to kind of connect, oh, we're gonna do these three stages, which is whatever. You yeah. know. I, I nobody at home cares, but I know the people putting the show together feel like they have to do something like that to make mm-hmm. it individually unique. But I think you're right, Mixie. I think it was a really good final overall. I thought it was really tough. People are gonna be like, Well, they didn't go up a mountain. I don't care. This looked just as hard, if not harder. They propelled down a mountain going forward. So Yeah, that that, that I wouldn't have done that. But we'll get we'll get we'll get to that. Fucking shit was wild. So Corey takes the gold rope. He's like, no, I got it. I got it. I, I'll take the gold rope. He's running back. He drops a piece of rope. The next person, do you, do you remember who the next person in line was behind Corey? I'm going to guess it was Moaya. Moaya. So he <laughs> drops a piece of rope. The other people behind Moaya see it and go, hey, Corey, you dropped a piece of rope. You need to come back. And Corey walks back by Mariah and goes, hey, did you see a piece of rope? And she goes, nope. And then it just keeps going on with her life. It's a giant orange piece of rope. It was on the thing. It wasn't like in the woods. It was on the path. I need to know. How she did not see this rope? How she didn't see the rope? How did she not see the rope? She was she was running by herself and she was like, I'm Mawaya. I am Mawaya. My name's Mawaya. Mawaya. <laughs> That's what she was doing. <laughs> I, I, <laughs> Trying to remember her name. <laughs> it was literally on the path. It was on the path. I don't I don't get it. I, I just she goes, no, I didn't see it. How? Explain yourself, woman. Un- absolutely unbelievable. I was just shocked by that. It was moment. also in the middle of the road. It wasn't like on the side. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Again, she's like, M for Mawaya, O for Awaya. <laughs> Keep going. I want to see if you can do this. R for R- Raya. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. I for uh, I, A for I, uh, <laughs> H for uh, <laughs> Mawaya. Hey, 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 hey. Good job, good job. Good I job. am Mawaya. Me. I am. That's <laughs> that's her little uh, pep talk to herself. Yeah. She looks at herself in the mirror and goes, I am Mawaya. <laughs> okay, I can go about my day. They get back. They're all waiting for Corey. He gets back. They're laying out the ropes. I go, good strategy. Not going to matter. And they try to do it. They don't get the money. Money's taken away from the people. And um, shock. Hilarity ensues after this because now they have to nominate somebody like they did in the other one to send somebody in. And this is where it gets really fun because obviously it should be Corey. Everybody feels that way. Guess who doesn't feel that way? Corey. Corey. He says such. Corey goes, I am the reason why we lost $16,000 today, but it's a little unfair if anyone judges me too hard for dropping this rope. Anyone could have dropped a rope. End quote. (laughs) End quote. I don't think they should hold the fact that I was the reason we lost this against me. Allegedly. I still think that they wouldn't have gotten it. They, but they, but they, but sure. But they don't know that. Yeah. At the time. We totally. know that watching it now. Yeah. I don't think they should hold this against me. Ah, uh, pretty sure they could. And then people like start and I was like, well, Moai is like, I don't think, I don't think, it, I think we're all thinking it, but nope, nope. Nobody wants, we want to say your name, Corey. And then he's like, mm-hmm. uh, I'm not mad. You can vote for me. And I was like, hey, you seem a little mad. You literally said that they, you didn't deserve to be voted for about 30 seconds ago, but sure. Okay. Sure. Sure. And he goes in. He goes in. He's like, okay. And they're voting. Um, 
Emmanuel, for some reason, goes, Narice. I don't know why. And then Corey votes for himself. Yeah, I... And then, who was at the end? Colleen then goes, Narice as well. Stupid move, because if any of these people got uh, the vote next time, you were going to be fucked. But that's neither here nor there. Yeah. I just thought, I thought this whole thing was hilarious. And so, Corey's there, and then he goes, you get to pick someone. And he goes through, he's like, oh, this is my speech. Let me, let me, let me, let me just crack my knuckles and get my speech ready here. And he's like, you know, I feel like I should save the person who's already been going in, you know? And then his ITMs goes, um, Emmanuel's like my biggest threat here. And I go, okay, so you're going to say Emmanuel then, right? And then he goes. No. But if I don't win, I want a woman to win. And I was like, okay. And then Jay's like, All right, well, it's going to be me. <laughs> so uh, I didn't understand any of that. I just feel like we're getting weird edits. Very strange. But to me, he said in the ITM what happened and that it was doing as a workaround. Mm-hmm. Hey, I think... I know, and what we talked about at the beginning of the season, this really comes down to the gentleman. Yep. So I can get one of them out here, potentially. Mm-hmm. Uh, and Manuel's probably going to be better at it than me. So I'm going to yeah. say Jay, but I'm going to give this whole other speech about it, which yeah. for him seems crazy because he... What he did earlier this season. But that's fine. You know what? It's fine, Mix. It's fine. People are celebrating around the world. They're like, oh my God, Jay's going to see an elimination. Thank God. Thank God, Jay's going to see an elimination. How yes. well, praise Jesus Christ. And it's a, it's, would you call it a puzzle? I guess it's a puzzle. I guess it, I guess it was a puzzle. <laughs> I will state, that now that we're talking about this and I'm thinking about it, it was more of like a balancing act. Yes. Which the irony of Corey winning in a balancing thing and then not being able to cross a child's playground toy is insane to me. All I was thinking was, is this Corey or Josh on the balance beam at the end? Because I, I could see both of them doing the exact same thing. To me, it was the same. That it's is one so person. so a Josh thing. You are so right. That is 100. Except Josh would have been crying. Oh, oh yeah. Of course <laughs> he would be. And I, we don't know that Corey did not cry. Okay? We are right. We don't. It's not off the table. It's not off the table. It's definitely not off the table at this That's point. so funny. 100%. No shot. It was hilarious. Absolutely hilarious. I referred to it the second time I watched it as a double dare physical challenge. You know? Okay. Dare. Double dare. I'll take the physical challenge. Okay. Mark Summers is going to tell me to go get those three bags and then stack them and make sure they don't fall. And mm-hmm. I think if I watch this right, Corey did it in the first try, which is very impressive. Interesting. I mean, they were all incredibly impressed. So that, th- yes. that would make sense because I was like, it's either very hard. Or they really thought Corey was an idiot. Um, but what yeah. you're saying probably makes more sense than the two things I thought. As I was watching the edit, again, you could see when Jay knocked his stuff over and he was trying to do it at the beginning. And then when they cut to the overhead and Corey already had stacked, Jay was trying, you saw the things fall off. And then mm-hmm. when they cut back, it looked like the same stack uh, color-wise was going up for Corey. So I think he just did it on the first go, which again considering what we saw at the end is very impressive i also think it helps you know that he's much taller than jay is so i think there was like an advantage of height based off like what part of your leg and the strength that that part of your leg has yeah there was a lot of things let's be very truthful here there was a lot of things that favored certain people versus other people in this final very clearly yeah, we saw it in the next uh, ladder of the tower or whatever the fuck. It, I still don't know what it's called. On every single leg, basically. Mm-hmm. There was like when they had to pull the ropes and shave the ropes off. The fact that Corey's like eight feet tall and could be right next to the thing. Much better opportunity. Uh, yeah, when they had the to flip that sack chest. of balls over the thing. Yeah. 
advantage for the taller, stronger people. That mm-hmm. and we'll we'll get to those beats. But I just thought that was that was hilarious. Um it was. and he does it on the first try. Jay is eliminated and the world rejoices. Jay is gone, he's out, and yes. the internet loves it. Happy for the internet. He played a good game. I if we're talking just the game that he played, yes, he was an ass. I don't feel bad for the hate that he is getting. Okay. Personally. But I do think that people aren't respecting how smart he was on the social side of things because he did a fantastic job in that regard of the game. And there are people like, oh, it's a physical game. It's always a physical game. Yeah, it's a physical game, but it's also a strategic game. And if you are thinking that this has never been a strategic game, I don't know what show you've been watching. It's also a social game, Kyland. Yeah, but he's, he's... Mixie, how many times we got to go over this? I don't even want to say it again. We don't even have to get into it. We don't have to get into it. We don't have to get into it. Um, What we should get into, I teased it ahead of time. Ladies and gentlemen, we are now going to have a special deep dive. Oh, wow. Long form narrative breakdown of the season and Jay's elimination. It is coming from... The one and only Mom LaFranc. Mom LaFranc. Yes. Take away. Yes. Take it away with your in-depth thoughts and feelings. Yay. Jay's out. Thank you very much, La Mom LaFranc, for that deep dive investigation. Thank you Mom so much. What a, so many thoughts in there. I don't even know where it would start. I'm just so glad that she took the time to go through all of that footage and put it together and mm-hmm. give us such a incredible breakdown uh, and and just encompass it all so well. What a giver to the community, honestly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Respect it. Respect it. You might not like it, but respect it, okay? You know what it would have been funny is if Kylan, Horacio, and Reese recreated the Mariah, Jay, and Emmanuel dancing when they got eliminated, when Jay got eliminated. That would have been funny as fuck. They should have got together and done that and posted it online. That's a big missed opportunity. Would have been hysterical. Big missed opportunity. Sorry about it. But you know what? Not everybody can be as smart as we are here at the number one. We nah. just really can't. You just can. can't. You can you try. Can. You're going to fail, and we're going to watch and laugh at you. Okay? That's what we do. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay? That is what we're going to do. Jay's out. We're moving on to stage two. Stage two here. Um, we now learn at stage two that Burner Brothers' groin is hurting. I do believe this was stated a while ago. A while ago. It was. And honestly, I feel like it should have been a bigger talking point in that last decision that they had. Because they tried, Corey tried to bring it up. Hey, don't you, don't you. Hey, hey. So I know I dropped that rope. Do you want some some strong people? Do you want do you want some strong people in the next stage? And they're like, no, we'll take Berta Bertha with the bad groin. We'll take her. Yeah. She's gonna be she's gonna be great at this. Spoiler alert, not great at it. I don't know who had that on their bingo card mix. Did you have that on your bingo card? I didn't, but I should have because this whole Berna Bertha thing of it all, it, it started here and it went through the final episode as well. I don't like people that just have to be a victim. And mm. I understand she was hurt, but there are multiple, everybody's doing the same exact thing. You don't get to cry and whine and literally look production in the eye off camera and be like, I don't want to drink that. Can I drink something else? That. Like, no. And then she's like, I, I can't eat this. I'm like, yeah, nobody can eat it. Watch them shove it in their fucking mouths, though. You know? Oh, God. I didn't it, it's, like it's, that. I didn't like it, but, but you know funny. what? it's funny. It's still fun. It's like a Berta Bertha funny, and I still think it's funny. And I agree with the point that you're making, which is why the fuck would they have taken her this far? But it's honest to God. You want to know what it is? Michelle. Michelle is the reason that Berta Bertha got that far because Michelle fought for her and saved her fucking ass. 
And everybody's acting like Michelle didn't do shit and she's awful and she's a backstabber and this, that, and the other thing. Michelle got nothing from her relationship with Berna Bertha. She only got problems from it. If anything, she's lost out. Yeah. Yeah. She's she's lost out. People blocked her and they were like, she's a bitch. And it's like, what? Well, I got you all, you motherfuckers there. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? So I, I don't enjoy that whole thing of it but it is funny she's fucking it so funny. funny i get why people hate her if that's why we think she's funny yeah. it's funny yeah you're looking at See, it, wrong. It, it that's that's the position i want everyone to take because it would be super easy to be like uh she's complaining she's whining but it's Berna bertha and, and she funny. does it funny now i'm not saying it's because of her accent because that would be no. very messed up to say no for me, I think it's because, and she states it again later in the in the next episode, she didn't go to school, guys. She went to the circus. Nothing is real for her. Like, nothing. <laughs> they didn't do math there. They didn't do math there. And then she went to acting school where they did no math. And I was like, Mix, is that you? Mix <laughs> infiltrated the challenge. Oh, my God. What a moment for us. I can do maths. I just don't want to do maths. Oh, okay. Sure, guys. Allegedly. Sure. Sure. <laughs> sure. There was also a moment during the first stage, I think right before they they started, I really wanted to make sure we mentioned this because we, we love some good Moai content, and she's going to be leaving us here shortly. She said at one point, I'm shocked that I'm here. <laughs> Same, girl. We all are, Moai. All of Same. us are, too. Same. Not saying that you're not physically good at doing things because we've seen you work out and you clearly like to work out, but same. Yep. Same. Same. You know. So uh, that was that was very very entertaining. All right. So this is part one of all of the the weird things they have to do. We're not going to go over all of them. I do want to hit some big points as Mixie was talking about earlier. It seemed like it was a good advantage if you were a strong guy or just a guy in general. It it was not very fair. When yeah. you if you were to break down all of the times of w- when people did well, almost every time I don't remember exactly and you maybe you have this information so you can correct me. The girl girl team came in last every single time as a matter of fact. Strength part the very first one, uh rolling the ball there was there's always going to be one female female pair and the very last one there's two, right? Yeah. Uh, and that was literally hold the thing and try to like get it in the thing, right? Whatever. Uh-huh. Uh first one, female female pair last. Second one with the kayak and the puzzle, still last. Um the, the carrying the crate obviously going to be last in that one. Mm-hmm. Um by the way, Nerese got real salty at the end of that, like real salty. This is bullshit. I'm like, well, so that's the difference, right? Yep. Because like if Berta Bertha did that, we'd be like, oh, Berta Bertha. You look at you. <laughs> you look at you. I, was I could just see her going, this is the bullshit. And we'd be like, <laughs> Berta Bertha. <laughs> and Nerese did it. I'm like, Nerese, I mean, <laughs> I thought you were really good at these. You you beat four people. Yeah. Uh, what? what? Um, it was bullshit, but everybody dealt with that bullshit again. There you same go. issue I had with Vernon Bertha. Everybody's dealing with the same problem that you are, except for Emmanuel and Corey, because they don't have to deal with a girl girl thing. Yeah, I it was just like, yeah, uh, Colleen got fucked a couple times. She's just like, I don't know what I mean, what's going yeah. on? I mean, mm-hmm. what, Colleen dealt with it, you know, and and Mariah's like, I'm Mariah, and um. <laughs> The trivia thing, they have to carry those crates. Like, who was like, yeah, this will be fair. This this seems fair. The eating, the eating last as well, by the way. So. I saw a lot of stuff on Twitter about how it, that people, everybody seems to agree with this uh, point. I did think it was interesting. In USA, specifically, I remember a lot of the stuff being clearly stated that the height or weight of whatever they were dealing with was yep. based off of the person that was doing yep. it. And I don't, I, again, I could be wrong, but Didn't I can't remember it. any time that they did nope. that for the regular one. 
Um, again, it seems is that diet challenge or is that just fairness? I guess that's up for debate. People were calling for that years before USA did it, and then we were like, "Oh, that's the right move in the right direction." If you're yeah. going to have winner like this, so it's whatever. Um, okay, so we talked about all the points that we feel like need to be explained in that. Uh, mm-hmm. I do want to talk about my favorite three parts of part one of this show. Go for um, it. I would like you to help me by deciding which ones are your favorite. So I'm going to go over the three points, and then okay. I would like you to rank your favorites. Um, Corey very loudly throwing up by the rocks and people telling him to, hey, quote, hold it down over there, end quote. Oh, stop. Corey, can you puke quieter? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Just loud throwing up by the rocks and him going, what? You know I hate it. I hate it. But this yeah. is what we were talking about a long time ago. Everybody vomits differently, and Corey is a scream vomiter. Now you know what I'm talking about when I say scream vomiter. That's Corey. Yeah, that's Corey. Moaya getting whacked directly in the vag by one of those giant crates that they were trying to cut down from the rope. It swung. It hit her in the vag. She goes, ow. This thing vagina wrapped me. I'm fucking Mariah. <laughs> it's just classic. Classic Mariah. I'm just glad classic. she knows her anatomy. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and third, when TJ at the end of this goes, hey, guys, I got you something from Tropical Smoothie Cafe. Lies. Lies. Uh, and Mariah's like, oh, I don't want to. And he's handing him out on a little platter. And and Nuris goes, I hate you, TJ. And he goes, I hate you, TJ. Mariah, what's to look for? I'm disgusted. I'm over you, TJ. I'm over you, TJ. <laughs> Fucking TJ. Obviously, that's my Number favorite one. moment of the season, I think. Oh, God. That might be my contender for moment of the season. I, moment of the season. Both okay. of us laughed so hard at that. So I've never seen good. TJ act like that. It was amazing. Oh, I hate you, TJ. Oh my I god! And he did like the little right. face in the head bobble. Yeah. It was so <laughs> it funny. Was great. I will say, what I do think guy. TJ really likes Norris. I I do think he yeah. really likes her. I think he respects he, her because of yes. what he saw her do. Yes. Uh huh. And that's yeah. that's the way to TJ's heart is uh-huh. doing stuff like that. Uh, I just love it. Obviously, my number one picks there is going to be TJ. Hilarious. Uh, just so good. Number two, I'm going to go with Moaya getting whacked in the vag. That was just pretty good. She goes, oh, stop. I hit, I hit my vag. Uh, and then three is Corey, Corey loudly throwing up and pretending like it's no big deal. He's like, what? <laughs> and they're like, no, you're you're scream vomiting, like Mixie would call it's kind it. So. Of, if that was strategic, good on him. I, I feel like people <laughs> can't fake that. But if that was strategic, that's an awesome move. No, no. That's, it would fuck yeah, with me. Danger. Oh, yeah, especially when you're throwing up that much. At a certain point, you feel like, oh, is it going to come out the other end, too, if I'm doing it that much? You know, I could be real careful here. Real careful. Oh, I still got fuck. I still got a couple miles left to go. I don't need to be shitting my pants right now. So Yeah. That's the end of that. We do find out that our, our boy E uh, won, won. The, mm. that stage, and he gets to pick somebody to go into elimination. What was your thought going into this? Because to me, it seemed very clear what the choice should be. Well, I, I don't even know if it was what the choice should be or not. But Emmanuel has only voted for Norris for the past like month at this point. <laughs> so in no way, shape or form did I think it was anyone other than Norris. Like, I actually think this might be one of the worst cliffhangers I have ever watched. It's <laughs> obviously going to be Norris. Like, nobody thought anything other than it was going to be Norris. I was sitting here going, how do you not pick Corey? Like, you obviously think he's your biggest threat, him and Norris. So why don't you go for the strength? Like, what are we, I, what are, what? Uh, I will say, I mean, again, it could have been, it could have been selective editing, but. I don't remember him ever stating that he felt Corey was a threat. He always was saying Norris. Mm. Okay. 
at least in the final from what I remember, he was always, and it could have just been he said it one time and they just used that clip over and over again. Wouldn't be the first time we've seen something like that. But to my remembrance, he was only talking about Norris as a threat. Okay. Okay. That might make a little bit more sense because he was like, she. he kept saying in the second part, she's a puzzle queen. She's the puzzle queen, right? And so maybe he thought that was the bigger threat. Somebody who was really good at puzzles, which turned out not to necessarily be correct um, for the rest of the run here. Um, yeah, I just thought it was a uh, thought it was a weird move. I I just did think it was what the cliffhanger on it. No, that uh, that it was the pick. I mean, yes, you're making sense, but for me, if I'm him, I see Corey as the bigger threat. But he didn't Absolutely. see it that way. Absolutely, especially fine. especially because you know at this point that the Mister TJ already told you that the last bit of this is going to be solo. So I completely yeah. agree with you strategy wise. But I knew he was going to pick Norris. In my opinion, they should have had the cliffhanger at Norris walking up to the draw. Mm, that's a really... see. This that was the only so cliffhanger part for me that I was like, oh, who's she going to pull? They she had, what, five, six fucking sticks in front of her face? I think they said there was two, two of the chaoses on there. I'm like, we need yeah. two. You just brought two with you? Is that why there's two in there? Either way, she pulls out Moaya. Moaya. She pulled out Moaya, and Mr. TJ starts talking about the fact that it's going to be a puzzle. And I lost it. I was like, oh, Moaya's so fucked. She's so fucked. I laughed so hard when I saw TJ. Start explaining what it was. And I'm like, Mawaya has to do a puzzle against the Reese. I feel like even Mawaya knew. She was like happy, giddy, smiling, like giggly. Like she's like, there's no chance in hell I'm doing this. I feel like she was really close multiple times there, though. I don't know how that ended up working. Um, Honestly, I it, like I watched it twice. Still didn't make sense how it actually fit in there. It just really didn't. I don't understand how it worked either, but it was clear that like you had to mi- the square that was available was yeah. b- like the last piece that you need to slide it. She kept thinking that she could go like vertically, and after you yeah. try that once, you can't. You realize you can't do it, so you just why are you? But she every time we saw her, she was shoving it vertically. It's Mariah. Mariah. Mariah knows how to shove it vertically. Let's let's state it officially for the record. She does. I don't think I've ever seen someone so happy to be eliminated. This, the last elimination before the last run of the final. It was just really funny because, um, Mariah is like very happy, but happy to the point where you can hear she's starting to like well up a little bit inside. And TJ is just like talking about her season. TJ, she's like, I'm just really, I'm really happy. And TJ goes, all right, Mariah, thanks for coming. (laughs) It like cut her off. Like, hey, we're losing daylight. The daylight was gone. Wrap it up. I think she was so happy because she knew James was probably still in the area and she could go climb that giant beanstalk. In private for once. Yeah. And not uh-huh. have to go to the bathroom to do it. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think that, that she was just super pumped to see James and did not think anything passed. I never saw her actually happy until that moment. Like the rest of the time she looked stressed oh. and anxious and annoyed. And then she found out she could leave and she was like, She's you know? like I get to leave just before they make them stay up all night. And I have Mawaya this tiny James? shirt on. And Mawaya- I have this tiny shirt on. Mawaya, go go see James. Mawaya James. Mawaya J A M E S. James. Mawaya James. James. <laughs> Olivia. <laughs> J. Michelle. Oh, Mawaya. <laughs> I just, what a great moment of the show. That's really contender for moment of the year for me as well. It's up there. It's up there. Uh, or the graphic where she explains her alliance and she's in again she, in, in the, the alliance. Yeah, that's really good. I really want Ugh. people to let us know what they think the moment of the season is. If you're a Hot Take Hottie member, go let us know I what you think that. the moment of the season is. Uh, TJ, after he ushers Mo- Moaya out very quickly, 
says, hey, uh, now you're going to have to stay up all night. All night. Uh, if you, and if you fall asleep, there will be consequences, you young whippersnappers, you. <laughs> and tell you what, I'd probably be dealing with the consequences because I, what could the consequences? I have to drink another smoothie. I think that probably was like a time delay. Sure. But I would have taken but it. What's the time delay that's going yeah. to hurt you over getting a, a night of rest? But you know? They could have done what they did to what was her name? Angela or whatever the fuck. And yeah. where they just were like, Oh, there's a consequence, and then they were like, Bye. You see ya. The consequences, you get fucking kicked Perched. out. Oh yeah. my god. They were probably nervous of that. Mm-hmm. Okay, maybe I wouldn't then. That would be a shitty way of going out. I mean, just trying to take a little snooze. I feel like they. Ha- I'm still mad about that. Like the, you can't just like say that later. Yeah, whatever. I'm not gonna get into that. Well, it's too many seasons ago. What I will get into <laughs> is this tile situation that they did. Hard pass. Oh my god, the mental breakdown I would have, and I don't understand. Like, it wasn't very clear that they had to do it. Thank you. I was like, it wasn't like you can do this and then sit. Choose to go to sleep? Yeah. Yeah. Because it would have really pushed me. You think I didn't think of you during this and going, oh, Mixie would be l- every expletive you ever thought of. It would just be. I would have been hallucinating. I would have been so mad. I would have been hallucinating. Honest to God. I really do think I would have. <laughs> I, I can see that for sure. Fuck, that was hilarious. But yeah, they're just like all putting their fingers. My fat fingers would have just been awful in this situation. And I, I like, he was like trying to like put like 20 of them up there and they fall and he's like, it's uh-huh. fine. And I'm like, it's not fine. None of this is fine. What twisted fuck came up with that? I think they took it from the Saw franchise, if I'm being honest. They had to have. Point. I mean- that's a yeah. fucked up thing to do to people. Awful. Yeah. The fi- like how that would have hurt every inch of your fingers. Like you'd be feeling it for weeks, right? Cuts, yeah. I'm sure, and stuff. Oh, oh, Berna Bertha was covered in bandages. Was she? Yeah. I missed that. Her oh, fingers Berta were, were coated in bandages. Yeah, no, Norris <laughs> went one first. And she, the the speech she gave Colleen while putting the tiles in her... <laughs> And her little thing was so I, honestly, I thought it was hilarious. So what did they tell you? What did they tell you to say to these people? What I don't they think tell they you told to her. Say? That's I what I, that's Reese, my point. I was like, why? At this point, why? Well, it, this is classic Nerese. Nerese, like, she came back and was like, fuck all y'all. Like, she just loves to like if she's on a high to take other people down. I, I'm very glad you saw that. I I thought it was just like, it was just, it's like, listen, what's she going to do? I mean, what, what are you getting out of it? You feel like you're getting one over it, one over on her right now. And that's fine and dandy, mm-hmm. but like, whatever at this point, you know what I mean? Just like, this is what I saw from her during the thing was like, when she's on a high, it's just like, yeah, F this, F that. But when things weren't going her way, this is bullshit. It's just like absolute back and forth oh, levels of like extreme highs and lows. Yeah. I'm like, I don't know how she like functions that way. You know, probably not on the show. It's fine. But if I <laughs> on the show, it just seems like it's just wild. some crazy emotional swings there from her. Wild. Okay. So they finish and you get to pick if you want mm-hmm. a pillow. A blanket or a chair. So the real conversation I feel like is which is the one that you want? Blanket. Every time blanket. I feel like you're constantly wearing a blanket. There's a blanket on my lap right now. <laughs> do they call it or did I call it boys and girls? Did I call it or did I, I call it? I have a blanket around me at all times. It's a blanket. Because a blanket could also turn into a pillow if you needed a pillow. Ooh, yeah, that's that's true. That is true. I I do like, and I was questioning. I was like, they're like sharing the pillow at some point. They're sharing the blanket. Uh-huh, she got a manual yeah. under the blanket. I'm like, yeah, okay. Didn't he say your name last time? 
Now you're sharing it. I thought oh, but the he's same sharing thing. his pillow. It's not a big enough pillow, realistically, for two people. Uh, at some point, Colleen is wearing a plastic bag. I saw that. Girl, that's how delirious they are. They're so delirious that Colleen found a bag on the beach and goes, cool, I'm putting this on. This will uh-huh. keep the warmth in. This will do it. Yeah. This yeah. one single plastic bag is going to do it. And then later, Berta Bertha was wearing the pillow as a beanie. Yeah. Just an A-plus move from Berta Bertha. Berta Bertha was no longer on planet Earth from this point on. Did you see they built like a little fort with all the stuff to like shield them from the wind? I did see that. <laughs> I mean. That's great. You got to busy your time somehow. It's kind of homeless core. <laughs> it is. It's very L.A. homeless. Very L.A. Uh. homeless. Um, this would have been the worst part. This would have easily been the worst part for me. Just nowhere comfortable to sit or lay. I would have been so deathly uncomfortable. And then I thought they have to do stuff again tomorrow. Like, now these people are in great physical shape. So a little different than me. But still, I would just been like, no, give me the chair. I wanted the chair, probably. That would have been my thing. I'd be like, I'm that just chair was on a this chair. stool. There was no back to it. What's the point of it? <laughs> yeah, that's true. My back would have been hurting for a while after that. There was oh, no point in the good chair. Oh, God. TJ pulls up on a boat, Mix, and I just thought, oh, of course he does. He's driving the boat. He's yelling by a body of water, you know? He's yelling in a body of water, technically. Well, huh? was he? Because they showed him pull no. up. <laughs> no, he was not. Spoiler alert. He was not saying any of those things while they were showing the same shot uh-huh. for 12 seconds. And I was like, this clip seems long. They've never not like that long of a VO is crazy. Way too long. A clip of B-roll to cover that way too long. I mean, that director, I'm going to have to judge him. If you, you know, he's not explaining it right now in real life. You know, he's not explaining it. You need other shots, bro. Yeah. Get me something else. Get me like the buoys or get me something. Anything. Anything. I think somebody was just like, hey, we'll figure it out. All right. I mean, don't even worry. We- we'll figure it out. Well, it should have been it should have been B roll of what was like what he was explaining. I just felt like it was a mess of that whole part. I was like, Ugh. Yeah. <laughs> well, I think what they had to do was they had to give people time to search how far 2000 meters is when he described you're going to have to swim 2000 meters. And in case you didn't, because we're great journalists here at the number one, I did it for you. So think about your uh, Olympic size swimming pool. Probably not the one that you have at your local YMCA. Mm-hmm. But an actual Olympic size swimming pool. Each length, each way going one way is 50 meters. Okay? So 50 meters one way, 100 the other way. Math. That's yes. 40 lengths, okay? Or 20 there's and backs. 40 things. By the way, in a real sea slash ocean. Yeah, that shit After was not sleeping. After not sleeping. Oh, and having a life jacket on too. 40 lengths of a pool. It's crazy. That's nearly like 1.3 miles, something like that. It's what they do for half Ironmans for the swim. I mean, that was an Iron Man. Uh, this is unbelievable. It's abs- I was like, th- have fun. I literally mm-hmm. said out loud, have fun. Bye. Don't drown. <laughs> Bye. I was expecting Berna Bertha to end up like out in another sea or ocean. The current just took her away, I was thinking. I was like, we're not. Some person is getting swept away in a riptide. Something's happening here. Absolutely. It's going to be gone. Insane. So far. So, and then Norris was like, oh, we have to swim. And all I thought about was Norris all season being like, it's not that I'm not good at uh-huh. swimming. Yeah. It's just that, you know, when I'm, I, I'm, I'm, 
I'm just not great at it. It's like, no, you're not. It's that you said the same thing. Like, stop yeah. trying to explain away the fact that you're not great with swimming. Okay, mm-hmm. it's just mm-hmm. it is what it is. And Maurice. then she had to do it again later. She had to do the scuba later. It's great. It's great. Hilarious. They just knew what to do. I yeah. that's that's my most exciting part of this is they were just like there's little bits each time that were just like delicious little little nuggets, nuggets. along yep. the way. They were. And now we're getting. To a larger, a larger, larger piece of the rest of this final. We're going to repel. We're going to repel. So they had to repel down, then do a tanogram. Um, Drink and, a smoothie and then keep going. Yes. Which, by the way, yeah. Emmanuel slammed that smoothie. I don't think I've, I've like shotgun a beer that fast. And my dude took that beet and mayo in like a gulp and a half. I was like, damn, my guy, is that a blue Holy Powerade? What do, you, what do you got there? Is that a blue Powerade? Unfazed, too. Like, no, like, gag or anything. Drank it. No. No. Quick side talk. What color of Powerade are you going for? Yellow or blue. Okay. I, if I have only one option, it's blue. Red is at the okay. bottom of Thank the God. list. Red is at the bottom of the Powerade list, but I believe it's at the top of my... Red list, no free promo for that brand because they were created by my rival. Um, yeah, yeah. Red's at the other one. Blue's definitely Powerade number one. Yeah, uh, blue is always number one. Oh, okay, fair enough. Orange is always last, but I don't think they make orange Powerade. <laughs> I don't think they do. Anywho, Berna Bertha. <laughs> Berna Bertha doesn't like the beet mayo juice. Though. Not a fan, and I don't know oh, how she could be any clearer. I honestly don't think they were planning on doing that. And then they realized how much Berna Bertha didn't like it. They're like, hey, can you get us like 12 more of those smoothies? Hilarious that those were at like every <laughs> point. Hilarious. That is like, see, this that's funny to me. Like that little like, <laughs> oh, I'm going to fuck you just a little bit with gross food versus like the sit downs. Yeah. Just more sit downs. Yeah. And they keep calling it TJ's energy boost or whatever the fuck it they was. were referring to it as. Hilarious. It's like, I got more energy drinks from you. I'm like, uh, good try, TJ. Not an energy drink. It's a vomit drink. She doesn't want to drink the drink. And yeah. Colleen, and- who is usually a smash all day, every day, and especially during this final, the girl was looking good, Um, tells her in German, I guess, to go one sip at a time. I want it officially on the record. German language not working for me. All right. Oh, you don't like it. Yeah. St- Colleen was still saying the words. But I was like, mm, not as not as much right now. Not as not as much. The language ain't doing it for me. It's not a pretty language. I think we we can all agree on that one. Um Yeah. It's, it's definitely it hits the ear and you go, huh. You know, <laughs> she was Berna Bertha was trying to drink it and she goes, um, give me anything but this. And she's just like, like kind of like shaking and leaning over because some of it's like spewing out of her mouth. Uh-huh. And it just reminded me of like a girl at like a college bar who got the wrong drink and was just like really upset because it's her birthday weekend. You know what I mean? Uh-huh. Just like, anything but this. I don't want to do this one. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I didn't want to do it. Please, exactly anything it but this. <laughs> that's exactly what it was. I, 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 this is at the point where I was just like, okay, Berna Bertha, drink it. We got drink it. it. <laughs> I, I mean, she clearly is is Delulu land. Um, oh god. So I will try to give her the benefit of the doubt. But then, like, then we find out about the repelling, and Corey is like joshing all over the place. And even Mr. TJ is like, what the fuck is going on here? And I got to side with Norris. It's the final. This is not the time where you consider quitting because of a situation that you, you've you made it this far. You're going to yeah. quit because there's an, a beet and mayo juice there. You're going to yeah. quit because you need to go. Which, again, I'm sure it was much scarier uh, being at the top looking down. But sure. from my point of view, they kept their feet on the thing. And it was like basically walking with a rope. 
attached it to you. It was if you if you did it the right way, which is what TJ was trying to get into. Uh huh. You know, he's trying to tell him like Cor- <laughs> Corey say he can't do it, and he was gonna quit. And Emmanuel goes, "No, no, try first. I go, "Emmanuel, shut the fuck up, my guy. Uh yeah. Shut the fuck up. Let him quit." And just you, tell Berta Bertha, yeah, you quit too. So now uh-huh. I'm guaranteed some money. No, shut up, Emmanuel. <laughs> Let the guy quit if he wants to. That's what Dory said. She's like, great, cool, quit. Love it. Yeah. I did great. I was like, Eman- Emmanuel, what? You, you already didn't put him in the last one. What are you doing? Do you want him to beat you? Well, I was... I. I was on the same page as you on that until Corey said, if I get stuck, will you come get me? And Mr. CJ says he will come save him. And then all I wanted was for Corey to get stuck on that rope. I want, I don't think I've ever wanted anything more out of a television show than for Corey to get stuck on that rope. And Mr. TJ comes rappelling down <laughs> just to save it. Music, fr- music from like the, um, Oh God, the bodyguard. You know, it just comes oh, yeah, on yeah. Uh-huh. and Mr. TJ is just slowly rappelling down. That would be great. This is the section that I'm nominating as my moment of the season. This oh. interaction between Corey and Mr. TJ. Mr. TJ's interaction in a final, mind you, was art, cinema. The fact, what's the problem, Corey? That's how it started. Let's just. Play this beautiful piece of audio. Please. Enjoyable. The fact that, like, TJ, I've never seen TJ that involved in anything, let alone during a final. And then yeah. him being like, my favorite part, it's not even that high, Corey. <laughs> when he's, like, pushing him, and Corey's like, do not push me. <laughs> not even that high, bro. He's just like, come on. He's like, well, what are you going to do? What if I get stuck? Are you going to come save me? He's like, yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll do it. Yeah, whatever. Because this is nothing. This he goes. I actually want to do this, uh-huh, yeah. and they won't let me. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> I, I. It was interesting though, because like they're like, "Oh, we're piled down the cliffside." I'm like, "Oh, this is easy." And yeah. then they send Emmanuel face forward. Face and I go, first. This seems a little bit more difficult than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> That was my exact thing. I go, "Oh, we're uh, They're going to fly down this, and then Emmanuel's uh-huh. going down front." But still, he's beasting it down there. He's just having a grand old time. Yeah, he was. He was like just bouncing. Yeah. He's like, oh, this is fun, everyone, isn't this? What a, what a, then, what a day. And, and then everyone else is just falling down this cliffside. Everyone else no is not having happened. a great day. <laughs> Corey's falling, falling repeatedly. He couldn't leave the dock the first time. He yeah. leaned over. And fell on his ass and then had to get back up and try to. And TJ's like, lean forward, Corey. I don't know how I could be any clearer about this. Lean forward. And so he starts going down. Corey falls in what could only be described as the greatest piece of improv ever created on the face of the earth. (laughs) He falls in Norris, who is upset that this large man who can't repel, just ran into her. Yeah. And she, she yells, she yells, Corey, stop. Like he can control it. Yeah. Uh-huh. Like he's doing it on purpose. Yeah. yeah. I'm just running into her. Uh, So funny. I couldn't believe she said it. I was like, what are you? Corey, stop. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Yeah. I'll, I'll stop. I'll <laughs> stop. I'll stop now. Oh, yeah. Sorry about it. I didn't realize I had accidentally <gasps> stepped on your foot. Yeah, let me get a let me get control over my giant body heading down this thing I don't want to do that I almost quit over. Sorry about it. So, so funny. So good. Yeah, then they do the tanagram, which was a bit of a snooze personally because they could time out, which Yeah, I felt like the time like 15 minutes didn't seem long enough. Because it yeah. seemed like maybe it would take you 10 minutes. I also feel so like the f- the who won and who came in second and whatever might have been a lot different if they didn't have a timeout. Like, was 100%. there a timeout? Or just a at little the- bit longer, right? Like, yeah. maybe 30 minutes total, not 15. 
like was there there was not a timeout um at the second one right or i guess Berna bertha just cheated so we didn't we don't know but but who cares I, if you don't does, clean your thing matter. off it didn't it didn't matter because Corey and um Nerys helped each other mm-hmm. so how is that different than cheating i guess if you i agree if you both agree mutually to help for somebody just looking off the other one if they don't clean it off, to me it's the same thing. I I don't think it's cheating. If they don't clean it off, then it's free reign. That's what I mean. It, it it's you you that's on you at this point. Clean it off. Like when they got pissed at Bernard Bertha for quote cheating during the Sudoku. She didn't clean it like yeah. Corey could have been. What just are we gonna get mad? There. Yeah. I'm supposed to believe Corey didn't look over at E's puzzle. Yeah. And and try to Try to copy those things? Uh, okay. Mm-hmm. Sure about that. Yeah, sure. Uh, Colleen, did you know that Colleen uh, certified scuba instructor? I When she said that, I was like, what can't this girl do? I, that's what I thought as well. I go, oh, Colleen for scuba? For scuba? For you scuba? for scuba? Are you guys for scuba? She's kind of a lot more well-rounded than I feel like people give her credit for. I don't think her social game is that great, but she got to where she was and she didn't need the social game anymore. So I was impressed 100%. with her. The, at yeah, this the fact final. that she comes in third when everybody during that mini final said, oh, she's she going to be awful. She's yep. going to be absolutely awful. Mm-hmm. I feel like she had the best final section of anyone, honestly, I agree. Mm-hmm. with all I of those puzzles was... that they had to do. I feel like yep. she was very methodical in her approach about it and sexy as hell doing it at the same time, which- yeah. You know, it's just a talent. It's just a gift you're born with. Me and her both have the same thing. So, you know. At whatever. what point during checkpoint two were you like, this is all the winners? Corey said that these are all the winners in order. Not correct. That, okay. That's not correct. Thank you. Because I was like, if that's the case. Not correct. <laughs> I felt like I didn't see things. And also people weren't on there twice. But I feel like it was all of the people that have ever won. But it was, it, he said, oh, these are everybody's one in order. And I was like, yeah, the last two are. But Jordan was not the one before that unless you count world championship. And if you do, you don't have uh, Cocaine Kaz on there. Yeah, I was going to say Cocaine Kaz I didn't see. If it was, Steven, if it was listing all of the winners in order. You couldn't have done it on a first go without scuba in? No shot. No. With no, no, all no, no, the no. names in front of you? No. No. I feel no, like no, you're no. selling yourself short. I feel like you could have done I could it. I could go back a couple, but I couldn't go like they went to the like beginning beginning. No shot. No shot. I think no. you could have done I, it. I would love to be like, oh yeah. I'm so smart. I'm such a good historian oh, he's of the so show. So humble, guys. No. Check him. If there's anything you know about me. Me and Mix, both humble as fuck. <laughs> Absolutely. We never brag. N- have you ever heard us bragging on this show? Not me. And if you did, I think you're thinking it's the wrong show. Yeah, was never me. I am an athlete, though. And I also have done Sudoku. What is up with people being like, oh, I haven't done Sudoku before? It's like, in my opinion, probably the most like universal puzzle in the last 10 mm-hmm. years. It it really is. It really is. Um, I, as a good person, decided, well, how hard is this? They keep saying it's very hard. And oh, so I created it? the puzzle. I created the puzzle. Yep, I did it. Um, And at 20 minutes, I got stuck. Oh, it's hard? Well, when I created it, you, you ha- when you created the thing, you have to hit submit to make sure that it's solvable, right? It'll tell you uh. if it's solvable. It said there was multiple solutions for it. And I checked back. Everybody had the same puzzle. Everybody had the same numbers, right? Uh So theoretically, Uh you could look and copy somebody. There was no walls there, which I thought was a misstep. Anywho, um, there was multiple solutions. So at one point where I was like, I feel like my only move is to guess a four here and a five here. And if that doesn't work, whatever. But it says there are multiple options. That was the bugaboo for me. Because I think that's where I screwed up and I should have kept looking. But I got 20 minutes in and I got Gave stuck. Up. Yeah. No, I, I, I couldn't do anything else because I got to a point where I go, oh, one's got to go there. And I go, well, it can't at this point. So mm-hmm. 
Uh, if you want the puzzle, I'll see if I can figure out a way of giving it to you guys. So DM us on Instagram or let us know in the hotties. I'll, I I'll want try the to puzzle. post it in there for you. Okay, I'll send it to you. Okay. I'll, I'll try to figure Sick. out how to do that. Because I've actually done Sudoku. Unlike, I guess it's a requirement to go on this show to have never done Sudoku before. I think Norris was the only one that was like, yeah, I'm good at this. Oh, no, hold on, Mixie. She oh. does it in pen. She does it in pen, which. Yeah, that was a weird flex. You know. Didn't love oh. that for her. Speaking of other things I didn't love during this, why the fuck was Emmanuel sitting on the platform trying to stack those, those like fucking oh. bricks? He was sitting on it. I think his legs were falling off. Well, didn't he say he was he, cramping a bunch of times? It kept as soon as he would start getting up, oh. it fell. Obviously, the thing is so like touchy, and you're sitting on it. <laughs> and then you're like, "How is this possible?" I don't know. Maybe don't sit on it. Well, we, that should never be the answer, especially to the ladies. Um, we never want that to be the answer. Okay, Let's, how dare you? How dare you? Steven, I'm curious. You're in. What order are you going for in this third checkpoint? Oh, good question. Um, I think I don't think I can do the Sudoku first. I think I have to, even though I like doing them. Mm-hmm. I think the stress of knowing that I, I would still have more to do if you get stuck would just completely mind fuck me and i think that's exactly what happened to manuel he was like i gotta get out of here right he's gotta yeah. do the other stuff uh-huh i would want to chip away so i'd probably do the barrel first yeah um i'd go barrel moving the little things i think Got it. the third one was the circles right yes I, like any combination of those three first okay first potentially to make sure my arms were st- like Maybe go back to the because you can. It's not like you have to clear it. You, I can go do a little uh-huh. bit more and then come back. But I, to hold that, I feel like you need your arms to feel like good. If you just did like a whole bunch of moving, yeah, I don't think that would work. I think I would struggle probably the most on the balancing mm-hmm. versus the Sudoku because the Sudoku is just like there's a logic to it. Yeah, I mean. Uh, theoretically there's logic to it so i don't think i would get as frustrated as like holding that thing and they kept falling over that would just Mm -hmm. no that would be my worst nightmare what about you similar path ish ish i think that i would do the pegs first because it's kind of mindless and also doesn't really require strength i think it's that one is like the least effort in general yeah. Um, and then I think I would do um, the circles. Then I think I would do the balance. And okay. then I think I would do the smashing of the barrel. Because exactly what you're saying, I think that if you're smashing that barrel, at least for me, I'm, I'm a small person. I think that but would really tire me out. I am an athlete, but I'm also yeah. small. By four and a half. Quarter? Yeah, uh, one a fourth. Yeah, the hammering would really weaken my arms, and then I wouldn't feel steady enough mm-hmm. on the other ones. And I wouldn't want to do Sudoku after the circles because I was already dealing with math. I think that breaking up the physical and the math ones are like the key to it. I might have done the circles first though, because Berna Bertha had her ass popped counting those <gasps> circles. Becoming the last final and this week's Hey Pass of the Week. Pass of the Week. She was popping it for me. Ass of the final. She deserved it. Wow. I mean, she was giving ass the entire season. I think that is also a highlight of this season is just the so unnecessary right. burn a Bertha ass. The little bits of it throughout the season, how it carried through was just, and she had it popped out for me on a platter. As if she knew what she was doing. 
some might I say. laughed so hard when that that <laughs> shot came up. I laughed audibly. Cuz like come on. Again, what are we doing? And Corey's like dying in the background. Oh, it, it's God. so funny. Uh it was it was it was so enjoyable to see all of that going down. Um th- like they're cutting back and forth between people at the Sudoku and everything else. Mm. Now both the other girls are there, right? Colleen's there, Bernabeth is there putting the ass on display. They're starting to catch up and I'm just like, yep. "Oh my goodness. We got ourselves a competition here." I love this little obstacle course thing that they are doing. Every time that they've popped it up, it's been exciting. Exciting to watch. It's really, really interesting. Except for the whole thing before that where, you know, you had the ladies doing stuff that wasn't really fair for their size and weight. But anywho, (laughs) that's not the point. We've moved on. We're on day two. Yes. This was really compelling. And Mm -hmm. I'm starting to... Um, full disclosure, I felt like I knew who had won based off information that was pseudo relayed to me from someone else. It was me. The information was relayed from me. I'm not going to, we're not going to beat around the bush, although I appreciate you not, not throwing me under. I was spoiled about a month ago, but I didn't feel confident in the spoil. So I did not take it. As fact, what had happened was I was on Twitter and a man well had posted an image of himself in a interesting outfit and someone commented back like, who do you think you are dressing like this? And a producer on the show replied back to this random person saying, he can wear whatever he want. He's a champion. That person should be fired, by the way. Fired. I felt like I was spoiled, but it also like is just a general like, oh, he's a champion. Like he's good at this. You know what I mean? Like it could have been right. I'm thinking right. this is a producer on the show. He's not right. that dumb, right? He is. Yeah. I found out now. But I did tell Do Steven we know if that this was- person still works for them. I don't. I should again. I don't. I I panic when I see these things, and I'm like, ah, Click and out. then I don't remember where they so were. So what happened was Mixie told me of these things. So the way my brain works. Well, hold on. I didn't tell you. Oh, Emmanuel. Blah 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 blah. No, she I didn't said, say Emmanuel. She left it out. I said somebody posted something, and the spoiler that I think I got was, "You can wear whatever you want. You're a champion." Right. And that's all that I told you. Yes. And I was like, I don't even want to know that because that's how my brain works. Just the same with like seeing the scenes or the mid-season trailer. Or like, that's how my brain works. So the way I started functioning was thinking it was the person talking about what the, the fit that they were wearing during their interview. So I then started going through a list of people with questionable fits. <laughs> And so I was like, okay, Ed's got a real questionable fit. Uh, Mm -hmm. He's got that's a very interesting fit. I can see people saying that. All right, I think it's Ed. And then Ed went home, and I go, well, it's not Ed. Oh shit, it's gonna be Jay with Jay's shirt. Who do you think you are, Jay? I already hate Jay. Look at his weird shirt and how open it is. Fuck Jay. It's Jay. Mm -hmm. Jay leaves at the beginning of the final. Now I'm like, oh, well, it's definitely Corey. Holy shit. Corey's going to win this show. Look at his fit during the thing. Uh And then at this point is when Emmanuel finishes finishes his puzzle. And I'm like, what is going on? Uh, And and again, boys and girls, this is how my brain works. I go, oh, he's going to roll an ankle here or something like that. Or Corey's going to finish right away. They mm-hmm. keep saying, Corey keeps saying, oh, I can catch up to people. Oh, I can run people down. So I'm going, oh, he's going to finish right here. Remember how he couldn't get across the balance beam the first time? He's going to be a now strong man and just run over that, completing his story, mm-hmm. running past Emmanuel as fireworks go off. 
and people celebrating, and he's going to win. And that's not at all what happened. Yeah, no. I, I don't even remember and I what was the outfit was. Euphoric. Because that's who I wanted to win. I you was euphoric. To, yeah. This mm. was the best case scenario, honestly, for me. I will agree with you. I think outside of, I think Norris probably in like the name of the game probably deserved it the most because she actually had to like win things and like survive. Whereas Emmanuel just kind of coasted. Although I do see the point of coasting like that is also a good game in and of itself. Yes. Um, yeah. A lot of people have won other seasons by doing that too. So I think that Emmanuel really showed how incredibly good he is in this a thousand final. Percent. He a thousand percent. Start to finish this final was an absolute beast of a human being. Beasted it. He led from the beginning to the end, it seemed. Yeah. Like, right? Uh huh. Even when they were together on the yeah, rope, he was still in like mm-hmm. doing his thing. Won the second section, which seemed like by a long shot. Yep. Every time he was with somebody, it seemed like they were finishing first. Mm-hmm. Watching him like just carry that suitcase thing over and drop it, you could even hear TJ going, "That's what I like to see." Yep. I think. Mm-hmm. I mean. I feel like we said it a couple times. I or I think we said like all season. People are sleeping on on him. Like he yeah. is a sneaky athletic guy, and there's yeah. a reason he's he's on the show to begin with. You know, just the same yeah. way as like like we saw Norris coming in second. Like I was honestly not too surprised. I was more surprised about Colleen coming in third. Yeah. But it was like, that's why these people were put on the show. They don't just, like, grab bums off the street. Norris is very competitive and very mm. good physically and can do these things and not just there for the entertainment and the, you know, the eye candy. But I yeah. I was like, I, I, have a, uh, I have a clip on my phone of me watching that last little bit there of the me just life. being like, yeah, just him running down the thing. I was like, are you serious? I think Are that, you serious? I think that he really just showed how great of a competitor he is. Um, I think now I'm interested to see how he does in seasons from here since he now has a win under his belt and people can't be like, oh, he's nothing. You know, like he's no longer a sleeper. I am curious to Except see. Except with what, sleeping with people. Yeah, well, yes. Not that type. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. But again, I think that he won because he did that and that he we need to make sure that that narrative continues to go so that yes. his girlfriend doesn't hate him. He was We'll doing ask it for him the game. about that. We'll ask him about that. We are set to interview him here uh in about 2 days from when we're recording this. So uh Exciting. We'll see what we can say and what we can't say to get us in trouble. <laughs> so, as as we uh, always do. Yes. Can I can I just say two more points here before we leave before we uh-huh. kind of close this up because we've been we've been running long here. Um I, I wanna just mention to everybody at home, uh, I what I want your takeaway to be from this final is that um next time that you think you're finished and tired, just know that according to Norris. And the person who told Norris that when you think you have nothing left, guess what? You still have 30% left. Now, yeah. if I had to guess, maybe that's coming from Anissa, right? But if we know anything about Anissa, it's that you don't. So it can't be her. I would say it might be Anissa, and Anissa just starts everything thinking she has nothing left immediately. Ah, uh, okay. okay. She starts I with just, 30% left. <laughs> I just wanted everybody to know that. So again, when you think you're down and out and you're tired, just remember, hey, according to Norris and the, the associate of Norris, you have 30% left. Now, I'm not going to say that seems very scientific (laughs) because I don't think it does. Hey, you just got punched in the face. Remember, you got 30% left. Mm -hmm. Matt. I would like to to end this by saying we watch this show. 
we think, wow, these people are so athletic. They're doing all these crazy things. This is so impressive. I could never do that, right? We, no. we have these thoughts. I yeah. encourage you to go to a children's playground and cross a balance beam and know that you were able to do that when the guy that came in fourth place was unable to do that. And I honestly think could have made second place if he yes. could have walked 100%. across the balance beam. 100%. So just he know that. Could've. Go out to your local playground and cross a balance beam and know that you are a challenge champion because you Honestly, were able to do that. I want somebody to go do that, <laughs> record it, post it on Instagram or wherever, and tag us and just be like, hey, I could have come in second. I'm a challenge champion. Look at me. Look at me. <laughs> The fact that they did him so dirty with that edit and the music they played for that, this man thought he was going to win. And they gave him that music and that edit for crossing a balance beam. Mm -hmm. Now, it's a moving balance beam. I'll give him that. But, but. Wasn't moving that much. (laughs) It wasn't. It was, it was absolutely diabolical of them to do that it was diabolical of them to do that and then for us to believe that like he got over eventually right he got over Mm -hmm. and he was going to run down colleen colleen like took her bag off i was like you fucking run like the wind colleen you run like the wind my girl it was impressive that she got the place she did i was i i don't think that anyone looking at the season that wasn't spoiled (laughs) would have put those three in the top three no no, that would have been an incredible, like, absolute Odds. pull if you had to do, like, um, some horse betting, like, uh, first, second, or win place show. You, that was your trifecta. That would have been an unbelievable trifecta hit. Uh, love this for Emmanuel for a number of reasons. Uh, one, that he got a 30 Seconds to Mars song as his uh, victory song. I love me some Jared thing. Leto and 30 Seconds to Mars. I mean, God damn it, I love that band. Newer Great stuff, band. not as much. But still, great band. Uh, you got a th- thirty seconds to Mars song to play out. Just the way he asked TJ, "Did I win?" was just amazing. And then him being like, "This is life changing." And the second watch I had of this was like, everyone says that, and yeah, for some I- of the people, uh-huh. it's a reach. This is uh-huh. true. Yeah, I agree. My pa- he goes. My grandparents don't have heat in the mm-hmm. village they live in, mm-hmm. and I go. It made me, oh yeah, it made me really happy for him. I I was I like my vi- I'm just like I'm smiling ear to ear because it was just like he did it. He earned it. He, like something didn't happen to someone else in the yep. final, right? Yeah, and like he backed into it. He earned it from the beginning of this final, and I know that. He's got a very interesting conversation now when he gets home. Um, but his grandparents are going to have heat now. And that just mm-hmm. makes me really, really happy that yeah. like it's going to be there. It's, nobody's going to like put it in the bank and be like, oh, I'm going to go do all these appearances. Like, it's, just, it's really happy. And I'm, I'm glad that he, uh, he was able to get the victory there. Um, yeah. As we do, mix season ranking here as we close this out before we get Ooh. to our interview. Ooh, ooh, this ooh, is a ooh, tough ooh. one. This is really this tough. This is a tough one. I'm going to give it a solid B. I'm right there with you. At the solid beginning B? of the season, I was nervous. Yep. We were leaning C, maybe C minus. Yes. I'm telling you, those last four episodes. I agree completely. Were all A's. So it pulled mm-hmm. that rating up. The I final might go was- B minus. I might go B plus. I might go B plus. I I thought about a B plus. I went B just because the people that made the final, I didn't love. I I yeah. would have liked a a different group. It was nice that there were people there that like again we would have never thought were gonna go there. Um, but I just didn't love the people in the final. <laughs> um, and it kind of made the final a little less enjoyable to watch personally. So I think that's why I go B, but like exactly what you're saying started very slow, started very rough. 
Um, Chaos was fun, but that last was it conquest or whatever the fuck it is on the whatever the last one was the last step on the ladder was the best step on the ladder. Genius, start to finish. The dailies weren't great, but they weren't bad. The elimination situation was awesome. The way that they had to like pick people in an order, it just elevated the show and took it from I agree a C to a B and I'm going to land a C on to a B. B and I'm going to go B plus I think just based off the end there and everything having stakes towards the end the fact that you know you I think it also matters like who lost like Jay who we thought was going to do this mm-hmm. and Michelle they drop out and then you get kind of as you said a really unsuspecting last five yeah. I think if you were to give me midway through the season I would say maybe Emmanuel's in the final, maybe Norris is in the final, nobody else. Yep. Nobody else. So mm-hmm. uh absolutely crazy way to end the season. Um enjoyable way to do it. We will end this in, uh ad, we will end this episode with our interview with Emmanuel. And uh after that the episode will just end. There won't be another sign off from us. So we'll sign off now. As Mixie said on the last episode on 300, um, we don't know what we're doing right now after this. So let us know suggestions. We're also thinking about very different styles of shows potentially to do. Mm -hmm. Maybe you need advice from the number one. Do you want to like maybe submit questions for us? DM us some questions. Life advice with Steven Mix. Do you want to know the things that Mixie irrationally hates i have a whole list she's got a whole list in her phone um and maybe maybe a firecracker mix story would go in there at some point so let us know what you would like to hear you can put it in the youtube comments here or you can dm us on instagram you can email us the right reality pod at gmail.com and do all of those things hotties mix oh and the hotties obviously yes and then the hotties obviously i I want to also i want to be very clear we're not like quitting by any means. We're just <laughs> not sure what the next step is. So don't be like, Correct. oh, I lost some whatever. We're coming back. We're just not entirely sure what we're going to do next. So keep yes. it locked on the right reality. We will be back. Woo. We will be on air again. But we're just not 100% sure what that is. So it'll be fun. Yeah. We're going to have a fun adventure with everybody. We're going to try maybe a few different things, but we'll be here no matter what. Because yes. we, we want to support and have some fun. So. Other than that, boys and girls, here is your new challenge champion, Emmanuel. The man, the myth, the new champion, Emmanuel is here. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. I'm honored. We're so proud. We all are very happy for you, man. I mean, that was, I I, I can. um, I really appreciate it. I can show you part of, I'll send you the video. I'll DM you the video of me watching you coming to TJ at the end there just to see like it's not just your family who was really <laughs> it's us challenged people who were also very excited for you oh my god I'll DM that to you on Instagram so you can see please the- do add there I really appreciate that <laughs> no worries the first question I had is where's the challenge champ tattoo going where's it going I imagine do you have one yet I, gonna I go? thought about I thought about putting it here nice Right on the here. dome, right on the dome. I love yeah. it. Yeah, <laughs> I love yeah. it. We can, we yeah, can it's a, it, placement it, if you need it at a certain point. We can, we can assist in that. You know, I feel like you oh, can't. Yeah. You're, you're, you're. There's not a lot of options left. You're starting to fill up here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. That's right. <laughs> I, I'm also gonna tattoo the, the puzzle that slowed me down when I went against Devin, the one with the numbers. Okay, uh, like the co- the combination of numbers, that one I'm gonna have it tatted on me, in case I'm running into it again. I don't have to think; I'm just gonna be like, "Boat right there." Built-in <laughs> cheat sheet. That's that's a nice move. Yeah, yeah. I, I like that. I like that a lot. You know, I I don't want people sending you Sudoku puzzles in your DMs. We don't need that. Uh, you proved that you can do it, so we're not gonna do that anymore. We just stay away from that for you, right? <laughs> yeah let's stay away from that <laughs> well before you were a challenge champion you also had another title that you self gave yourself and it's all, also in your twitter handle you are a certified vampire how do you become a certified <laughs> vampire 
What are the steps to getting yourself that certification? And do you have it printed? Is it framed? Where is the certification? Um, once you walk into uh, Brand Castle, uh, Trackless Castle from Romania, then you become a vampire. There's a lot of vampires around, like a lot of tourists, you know. Yeah. They're all vampires now. Nixie, it sounds like we need to make a trip to Romania to become vampire that's, itself. That's where I wanted to get. <laughs> okay. All right. I you already Nixie I... will come and 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 have a little party there, and then we can all three have a vampire party, you know? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how Glasses I feel about blood. <laughs> <laughs> do you, the, the I don't know how I feel about blood. I, I might have to like mix it or like shoot it, shoot it like you shot the energy drinks, man. You took those down in like a gulp and a half. I was telling Steven, I haven't even shotgunned a beer that well. Like, how did you just open the guzzle? Like, how did you do that? <laughs> I honestly don't know. The first one was the worst because you get that weak and you gag, but then. Then it's easy because you think about you're not gonna eat, so you're like, "Oh, this calories in this, uh -huh. I'm gonna have to run a lot." So me and Corey were like, "Let's go!" <laughs> it was the because it was a mayo beet juice. Was the was the flavor more on the mayo side or the beet side? There's also tuna in there too, right? Very tuna. Yeah. Oh. Just you can feel the you can feel the tuna in the chunks and yummy. I think it was. I didn't feel the beet. Can, do you yeah. do you think TJ should try to sell these in local grocery stores? Do you think that's a good idea? Do you think it would be a hot selling product? TJ's energy, yeah, tuna, if, tuna drink. If he, he wants to experience some bankruptcy, yes, then he should <laughs> definitely go. <laughs> we'll, we'll let him know. It's not probably good yeah. For store shelves. Yeah, yeah. You don't really, enjoy it. He's got a really short shelf life too. I'm, I'm sure. <laughs> So you came down, you were running down that platform towards TJ, and you said, D -d -d which was one of the most adorable but also heartwarming moments, you said to him, did I win? Did I win? <laughs> and I was just yeah. like, uh, un unbelievable. So you win. <laughs> At what point did you tell your family? Did you, Was there a phone call made? Did you wait till you got home? Can you walk us through how you're told your family, uh, how the grandparents are feeling about now getting heaters in their house, obviously. Uh, how did that process go for you? Um, yeah. Honestly, I was so, like, so locked in that while I was running from the last station in the fifth check checkpoint, I, I thought we still have to do something. Oh. And I was I was running, and I was like, "Man, uh, I'm running towards the end, or do we still have to do something?" And then I saw TJ, and I was like, "Did I win?" And then it was just like, you know, I envisioned doing this. I I I manifested doing this, and uh, it, it was still a shock. I was it was still man, this is actually real. It just happened. But yeah, we got to the. The hotel after that, I had a nap, then woke up very overwhelmed, still like, like, felt like crazy. And then I called my mom and I said, mom, it was very tough. You know, um, um, I came in fourth place, but this and that. And then she's like, oh, that's fine. It's your this and that. And then I said, I actually won. But she 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 would text me while I was there. She she kept texting me on my WhatsApp, and then she kept saying that she feels like I'm gonna win. She knows that uh, I'm gonna win, and then I told her, and then she was like, "I I can't believe you." <laughs> and then I told her, "No, I actually won." And then of oh, course, that... crying and all that. Yeah, That's it was. Awesome. Uh, I was so happy to to call her and be like, "Mom." Got it. <laughs> That's know? awesome. And, uh, yeah, my my grandparents have heaters now. <laughs> Let's go. Good. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> took care. We took care of that. That's amazing. that was so heartwarming. I, I'm so I'm so happy for you. That it seems like um that phone call was probably 
much easier than the one that you had to have with the girlfriend later. So, you know. Oh, I, yes. Yeah. <laughs> well, it wasn't it wasn't it wasn't that hard. Yeah. But uh, yeah. Embarrassing. <laughs> did you lead with the win or did you lead with the other stuff? Which one did you did you sandwich it? Like how how was the approach? We like yeah, I won. won. Sorry about this other stuff, but Fine. I did win. We should focus on that. Yeah. Part. <laughs> um yeah, with the win. With uh-huh. the win. Led with of the win. Yeah. 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 Hey, I won. But she how she, are Yeah. She did have a feeling. I don't oh. know if it was the I mean, I'm sure it was the spoilers because there's a lot of spoilers, mm-hmm. you know, with this uh with the show. And uh she she knew. But um ah that it was so bad of me, like that was so bad. Mm-hmm. You know. And you see me with more you. Yeah. But she we knew we was gonna break up. Oh. Um yeah, we I was talking to her like for months. And uh, I I don't really want to talk about it because it's uh, also her life, and I want to bring I don't want to bring her in. But uh, yeah, I know it's you know it's it's tough, embarrassing. It's fun. Yeah, it's it, it's I, tough. I I mean yeah yeah. And it also also I felt really bad in the house also, and I I would just like sometimes just not do. Pretty much a lot because I was like, man, I did this. How am I gonna tell her? I mean, mm-hmm. I, I I wasn't like, hey girls, let's just party, let's just dance, and she's like, you know. But, well, it uh, sounds like you were in a complicated situation even prior to leaving. So, yeah, I should have break up earlier, mm-hmm. and I, uh, you know, would have just like you know stop, right. The, you know yeah. suffering because i mm-hmm. made her suffer of course you know you don't do that shit yeah i mean you, listen you live and you learn um speaking of learning i want to learn how you feel you got to the final because i know that you're on twitter and you're seeing all the people being like all these people that made it to the final they don't deserve it they didn't do anything blah 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 in your own words what did you do to get to the final and why did you deserve to be there um Showed up. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Um, it was um, I I talked to uh, to other people on other podcasts. It was a crucial moment where when uh, after they vote me in, Kyle and Horacio and uh, Big T, um, I knew the hit was on me. It was you know I was like okay, it happened once. It's gonna happen later. The girls already voted me you know, voted for me in the liberations. And, um, you know, I was friends with Jay at that time. And I was friends with Jay and everyone else because they were very open before we started the season and was just talking. And, you know, I didn't have much conversation with Horacio. It wasn't that talk, how you say, talkative. Like, he wasn't talking, you know. So you go towards who you, you know, who you start bonding with. So it was in my benefit because Jay had already friends coming in, you know, girls from the other season, Michelle with all the girls. And uh, I told Jay and everyone else, we were in the room with the guys. And I said, yo, I'm going to tell Kylan because I was against Kylan. I was, uh, you know, me and Kylan uh, didn't talk game or strategize or whatever. And I told the guys, I'm going to talk to Kylan and make him think I'm going to work with him. And that's going to, you know, probably give me some information. And that builds some trust with the guys also, right? And then I went and talked to Kylan. And it was a scene with me in the club, talking to him, telling him that it would be better to, you know, maybe work together than against each other. Fast forward to the next uh, guy's day, Kylan comes and talks to me that, Maybe we can push for Jay. And I'm like, ooh, that's great. It worked. And then, of course, we talked in the room with Jay and everyone. And we was happy to push Jay also because we knew we was 
he wasn't going to get the votes because no risk wasn't going to vote with him. So it was again, it was uh, between Kylan and uh, Jay at that point. And of course, it, it kind of went in. But that was a crucial moment where the heat shifted for me and Jay. And then they had that little argument. And then something big, you know, something much happened after that, you know, in yeah. that heat. So I was like, okay, I see that happening. Now I'm here. So it sounds like a, a, a lot of a lot of the success of the people who got there was was as you said showing up, but also that there was this other kind of war going on, and you guys were in the middle, and you're just like, we'll just be here hanging out. You guys try to duke it out, right? Like just kind of avoiding the <laughs> that that war kind of worked in everybody's favor when it switched that way, right? It was. Uh... We wasn't that much in the middle because, I mean, I wasn't, I, I know it looks like I was very in the middle, but I was always with the, like, with what was going on. Me and Jay, we was always from day one uh, next to each other. That's why got it. you don't see him talking bad about me or saying that, you know, he might want me to. He might want to send me in. Also with um, Ed, another friendship that really, you know, uh, saved me. At, in two points, actually, when we did the stalemate and when he saved me um, from the, you know, the that elimination we had the, when he, he won the, the, the paddleboard. And then he saves me first. Um, so it was, it was more um, like I was very social based. Yeah, you know, you had I always, I always think, and it just did, it didn't appear that way on TV as much as it went yeah. down in the house, and that happened because that because happened because often. because I always think that in the beginning of the season, this is the. The, the moment you, where you need to start building your, you know, your bonds. And maybe because there's a lot of people in the beginning and you need to show everyone's story. You don't really see 100%. what I'm doing in the beginning. Mm -hmm. But especially somebody who. But for as much as I can. Yeah. But for that's what I say. For as much as you can, try and do the political work and avoid eliminations because it might come a time. As West uh, uh, experience, where you cannot, you cannot hide, you cannot do anything. You're mm -hmm. always in, so as much as you can, just avoid elimination. You might be one of those people now. Who knows? <laughs> well, speaking of elimination, you won the second stage of the final, and um, Stephen thought you were, were going to vote Corey, and I knew you would vote Narisa because you were going for Narisa the whole time. Did you feel like Norris was a bigger threat to you in the final than Corey was, and that's why you went that route? Yes. Um, because before the final, she told us what the eliminations were. Mm. And it was basically like a, like a mini final. Mm -hmm. And I was like, man, she beat these two guys, and then, you know, she sent four people home. And yeah. I'm like, you know, hearing in every corner, oh, Norris, the puzzle queen. I'm like, I thought she was going to be the biggest threat. Yeah, because, yeah, she had these eliminations and, yeah, of course. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we have two final things before we let you get going here. Uh, one, how do you celebrate a win like this in Romania? What is the party like? And more importantly for me and Mixie, what's the meal situation like? What what's like the main dish? Like what's the food? What's the spread uh, like? How long are we partying? Is this like a two day party? What's what's the party like, my friend? Uh, honestly, I don't part. I don't really part. So okay. Oh. If you come here, we might have a barbecue with my grandparents. <laughs> oh, that, that's even better. I don't know. That's I don't awesome. know how I'm gonna party. Secretly, that's the party I wanted to come um, to. It's just a yeah. small gathering eat, with grandparents. Eat yeah. some sarmale, 
Okay. You know, the, the cabbage, cabbage meat rolls we have. Ooh. That's, I'm that's young. a very traditional. Uh, yeah. Very, I, very tasty. Sign me up. Is there, is there a recipe that your grandmother can send us and we will make that for, for our party here for the uh, cabbage rolls? Yes. Yes. Okay. All right. Oh, you would love it. You would love it. Oh, I'll, I'll oh. get my grandma to send it. Uh, amazing. Oh, please. We'll, we'll, we'll make it. We work in food production. We we make recipe videos for a living. We'll do your grandmother's recipe upright. I'll tell you. Great. Like, Great. We'll do that upright for you. All right. Well, I'll DM you. I'll please. DM you. Appreciate it. Yes, we, we'll, we will do it. And final thing. Were you upset that amongst all these club nights, there was only a few scattered moments of you dancing? I feel like they purposely cut your dancing out not to embarrass everyone else in the club how did you feel about this unfortunately they probably had you know space only for me dancing with other girls oh got it <laughs> understood, understood. I, I had a, I, I had a, like a vogue moment when we did the pride month uh, party yes when I was on heels with Asaf. Oh, great moment. I was, yeah. uh, yeah. I was like, look at these two guys. I, I had allies a, just right out here. I had, a, I, had a, I had like a very vogue <laughs> moment in that. You were going for it. I loved it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Amazing. Hey, man. Well, congratulations again. I'll send you the video of, uh, of me having a little party over here for you. We appreciate it. Uh, we hope that uh, this is not the last time we see you. We hope that the uh, phone so keeps much. ringing. We hope that the phone keeps ringing and you answer it. So, well, if they want another champion, they better not call me. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh no. I love that energy, my guy. I love it. Of course. Oh. I, I appreciate it. Thank you very much for your time. Appreciate it, guys. Thank you so much. 